GGRC. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of GGRC. I'm RC, and today we're going to be doing a quick save review for... Well, have you guys heard of Mega Man? How about Mega Woman? Mega Gal? No, this is Meta Gal. And this game is... It is trying to be Mega Man so hard. So, so hard. But, I gotta say, it accomplishes it pretty damn well. I, I was actually pretty impressed with this. Now, the thing that, you know, kind of turns me off just a little bit is that all of the girl characters are basically, like, chibi-style, like, anime characters. Um, and most of them always have, like, you know, really <laughs> huge busts and weird, strange, like, little bikini bottoms and whatnot. Like, it, it's a very strange art style as far as I'm concerned. They even make mention of it uh, later on when Metagal becomes who she is when they turn her into the uh, ass-kicking robot that she is. Uh, she's like, do I really need to wear this kind of thing? <laughs> of course, the weird scientist guy is like, yeah, don't worry about it. You know, it's uh, you don't need to worry about what you're wearing because your your skin is really powerful. I don't know, some some weird throwaway thing like that. Uh, but besides all of that, the game itself is really good. I'm actually having a lot of fun with it. Uh, let's actually jump into it. This this whole beginning, there's actually a really long story that goes into it here. Uh, we might actually be able to see that scene I was talking Oh, no, it skipped right past it, unfortunately. I'm not sure why. Uh, but regardless, um, I haven't played a whole lot of this game. Just, like you guys should already know, quick save reviews are basically where I play a little bit of the game and I give you my thoughts on it like while I'm partway through it to let you know if it's worth checking out. Uh, and this one, I feel like if you are a Mega Man fan, this is going to be a game that you're going to want to check out. It's pretty cool. Um, if you've played Mega Man before, you know what to expect. But if you haven't, Let's jump in so you can see what we got here. So, uh, we're going to jump into the main game. And, um, yeah, I uh, I got to say, like, the music is pretty cool. It feels very Mega Man slash, like, uh, Sega Genesis Sonic the Hedgehog era style. Um, this game is tough as well, uh, as you might remember from old Mega Man games. So far, I've been able to finish two levels and one I could not get past this one certain part. I couldn't figure out what I had to do. So I've actually finished uh, Gal 01, which is the shield one. And of course, after you beat these uh, Gal uh, bosses here, they do give you powers that you can use as well. And I just ended up finishing uh, the Buster Gal right here. You can see that they give you a, a clear time and what your best results are, and they give you a letter grade. I got a C on my first one here uh, with the shield level. Uh, so apparently I did much better than I did on the forest one here uh, for the Buster uh, power up because uh, I got an E, which is not great. Uh, but both took me around, let's see, this one took me about 14, that one took me about 11. The fire one, as you can see, this is a very good depiction of what, what I'm talking about with the weird costumes and stuff. They focus a lot on the crotch, which is kind of strange, and it's like right up in your face. I don't know. Makes me feel <laughs> a little weird with these uh, chibi characters. Uh, but regardless, this was the level where they had this like weird blanket of lava coming down at me and I couldn't figure out what to do in that situation. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go into the, the warp level here. We're going to check this one out first. Um, I have not played this, so bear with me. So here you go. Here's Metagal. She has all the basic uh, abilities that Mega Man has. She can dash back and forth, which is cool. She gets a, a longer jump if she dashes while jumping, which is kind of fun. You got your basic... Uh, you know, shot here. And of course, with the top bumpers, you can switch between different weapons. So, for example, um, this is the shield weapon that we got, which is pretty cool. It puts up a shield so it'll block shots, but you can also keep shooting uh, out these green uh, bullets. And what the green bullets do is they'll actually uh, home in on, uh, you know, diff different enemies and stuff, which is pretty sweet too. Uh, this one I have not tried yet. I literally just got this, so let's see what happens here. Oh, you can throw out mines. That's pretty cool, actually. So if any enemies walk on it, those, those will blow up when they do it. The mines were in the previous level, and they were pretty annoying to deal with. Uh, you'll notice here uh, that that gear one will actually heal you. So you can use up one of your gears to heal yourself. And we'll go into what the gears do in just a second here. Uh, you use them a lot when you die, and I have died quite a bit, so... I have a feeling that you guys, if you play this game, <laughs> you will be dying quite a bit as well. So, yeah, like I said, for those of you who have played Mega Man, you can see, I mean, this is Mega Man. Um, you, you're going along the side here, you know, side-scrolling, uh, 2D action, shooting, monsters, robots coming after you. It's it's all the same, the same stuff. Uh, one of the main differences you might notice, though, is that uh, when she jumps around, 
uh, the whole screen moves along with you, which I, I don't know. Being a being a Mega Man fan myself, I remember playing them in the passes where we got to use our dash jump, and dash over here. Um, I like when the screen stays kind of stationary because if it stays stationary, oh, we got a timed puzzle thing here. If it stays stationary, then uh, you don't have to worry about the you know the screen moving around all, all crazily while you're trying to figure out. Because you can see here. The, the whole screen is moving with me as I jump, and it gets a little, a little tedious. Whoops, that was the wrong power there. Wait for the shield one. If you use the shield one, like I said, it'll home in on enemies so they can take you out a little bit easier. Um, yeah, if the screen was stationary, you wouldn't have this weird thing going on, because every time you jump, uh, if the screen doesn't move, you can kind of keep a better idea of where the platforms are. And this one, because the screen moves up, it, it gets a little harder to de sort of depict where... Oh, there were spikes right there, I just noticed that. Let's take these guys out. Enemies do respawn, so keep that in mind as well. Take that guy out, there we go. I just noticed the spikes over there. You even touched those spikes, you were done. So you gotta be careful. Jump. There we go, jump to that one. Oh, I jumped there just in, just in time. All right, this looks like it's gonna be a really tough little area. Oh no, we just made it, whew! More robots. And, okay, that, that area wasn't too bad. So actually, you could see up in our uh, top, uh, top left corner there, this is a good time where we could probably use one of those. See, we heal just a little bit. Doesn't seem like it's worth spending the gears on, to be quite honest. Uh, but it is something that you can do. We use the shield on these guys here. You can avoid them. Look at that. And we'll just dash away. And I like that they put they do this in most of the levels too, is they they purposely uh, put enemies up in areas where you want to get to like that because I could easily shoot those little guys that are up on the on the ceiling see here's a, a healing thing right there but it looks like we're dro dropping down and that is CP is a checkpoint wow this is a rarity uh, that I got to a checkpoint without dying the first time and this is also a first here too have not seen the uh, warping teleporter thing yet. That's pretty cool. There we go. Collect a gear. So what the gears do, uh, since we haven't been able to use one just yet. Oh, that's pretty cool too. Putting us up on the ceiling. Uh, what they do is they... Uh, oh, no! Well, I'll show you right here. Uh, actually, I don't need to because I can use the checkpoint. But what it does is it offers you something called a rebirth. And it'll let you start right at the moment where you, not not where you died, but in the same screen where you died. So, if you were liter literally a screen away from where the boss is at, um, you're gonna wanna use one of those, because you don't wanna, you don't wanna go through all the same stuff that you just went through again. There we go. Take that guy out. Okay. that guy out. If I fall up, will I die? That's my question. No! I did did the exact same thing right there. This part might be a little tough. Uh, what is nice, though, is that this, this game is seemingly more forgiving than uh, some of the other uh, past Mega Man games, even so much so as uh, Mega Man 11. I know 11 offered uh, sort of an easy mode for those people who are having trouble with the game, which is very much welcomed. Uh, for uh, old fogies like myself who grew up playing Mega Man, but know that uh, Mega Man is uh, still a very difficult game, and as you get older, it is still tough. Oh, there we go. That's what we want. Oh, we're going to switch to shield here. Take this guy out. See, so yeah, I, I actually really like the, uh, the gears... Um, uh, the gear system that they put into this. I, I think it's very smart. I think it's clever. Oh, God, no. So I'm curious where it's going to start us here if we rebirth there. Yeah, it just puts you at the checkpoint. So not even worth using one. 
Uh, it's it's pretty generous with the gears though. And what's even better though is that if you run into a situation where you can you just cannot get past the point you don't have gears, it it will just continue letting you uh, keep trying to take out uh, or uh, get through one area, which is really really nice. So the game does have a heart. Shield again. Come on, shield. You should be working against those things. Alright, I see what's going on here. Take this guy out. Shield! Alright, we got that there. I'm gonna wait for the green here. Red, 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 green. So we got it. Oh! That was the, I was almost death. <laughs> no need to jump. No need to jump. Give me a dash jump here. Wow, they. This is a very, very long area here. I'm not risking my life over there to get that tiny little life pellet. So now at this point, if we hit rebirth, we will start from this this point here, which is really nice. Wow, this this ceiling part is a uh, it's a toughie. As I would say. There you go. I keep jumping, but I don't need to jump. That's my problem. We will rebirth from there just so we don't have to deal with that area. See here. Look at that. Look how handy that is. Take this guy out. There we go. Alright, we'll wait for the green again. Okay, green is there. There we go. Fall. Don't let that guy knock us in the pit. I'm gonna wait for the green here. Give me the green. Okay, there we are. Up again. There we go. Okay, I got my shield ready just in case. Back to green. Yeah, because I knew there'd be enemies on the other side just waiting. Oh wow, we really gotta time this one. Oh, that was actually not too bad. Okay. Drop. Oh no! Jeez. Not doing too bad for my first time in this level, but <laughs> it is still very challenging. Those rebirths are going to run out. Eventually, it's going to, uh, you know, send me back to the uh, uh, the checkpoint. But luckily, we have the checkpoint. Okay, we're waiting for the green here. Red. Okay. I'm being super cautious here. I guess I don't need to be this cautious, but I'm being super cautious. Alright, give me the green. Uh, one of the other things I do like, uh, despite the, the art style of the girls in the game, uh, one thing that I do actually like is I, I like how... Um, oh, do we have enough time for this? Yeah, we're good. Uh, I, I like how the enemies and the backgrounds and everything else look. It, it's, a, it's a fitting homage to uh, Mega Man, I feel like. All right. Oh my god, and I walked right into it! Jeez! Jeez! I actually had it done too. The screen, next screen was like right there. And even though these these levels are tough, um, I will say that they they don't make you. Ah, that was a dumb move on that my, my part. I can't believe I actually survived that. I'm getting reckless right now. Getting impatient. Uh, the levels themselves are not super long, which is something I do appreciate. So you might spend a lot of time on like one little area of the level, but you find yourself at the boss before you know it, which is kind of nice. Okay, back up. There we go. Up here. That would have been a good time to head over to that thing, but I didn't quite make it. Right, pop up. Alright, we'll try this again. Nope. Oh no, we did do it. Okay, we're at a checkpoint. Well, I didn't know we jumped, fell down the hole. I thought we had to get to the other side. Whew, I got very, very lucky on that one. Okay, we got that guy. All right, we're gonna wait on the green here. Okay. 
Ooh, that's not good. Wow, that was almost death. All right, we got a dash here, I think. Dash, nope, that didn't work. Uh, what do we gotta do here? I think we do, ha okay, we have to go under there where the spikes are and then dash jump over to that side. All right, let's try this again. Nope, right into the spikes. Uh, but what's nice is we can continue right here because we have a checkpoint. I think this is the first time I've had two checkpoints in one level with the one checkpoint not being a uh, boss battle. Because they do give you a checkpoint at the boss battles too, which is really nice. Oh, you jerk. Okay, we got that guy. Let's head up here. Jeez. Oh no! Shouldn't have jumped! And I jumped. This whole, uh, ground ceiling thing is really, <laughs> really doing me in here. Trial and error, though. That is, that is how Mega Man has always been. Keep, keep trying different things on a level. Eventually, you, you will hopefully make it. Okay, get up here. And your life does not go down as fast as it does in Mega Man either. You might remember if you take as many shots as I'm taking right now. Um, we actually got to wait for that to be down, I think. Um, you take as many shots as I'm taking right now, your life is going to deplete quickly. But in this game, it feels like you get a... Like I said, it's just... Across the board, it's a lot more forgiving. Which I am totally okay with. Okay, that worked out all right. Here, here. All right, so we gotta wait for it to be down. Jump, there we go, we nailed it. There's a gear, which we will more than likely need, I'm sure, before we get to the boss here. Wow, we're really moving here. All right, we need to take out some, some dudes here. There we go, ceiling. Take him out. Okay, that's a, that's all right. We're not doing too bad here. Hey, we got up to that one, all right. All right, so we got all kinds of teleporters here to go through. Okay. Whoa, don't walk into the spikes. I almost did that. Pink to green to blue to pink again. Oh, we're gonna try to get that gear. No, I wasn't done. Ah, just did not work out. All right, let's try this again. Green, blue, pink, back to pink, down to green. All right, over to blue. So blue is going to take us that way, but I really want to get this gear. There we go. We got it. Back to pink. Oh, no, we don't want green. Okay, we want blue. And what we want to do here is wait for blue and go there. Okay. Now we're doing it. Kill that guy. Uh, what do we want to do here? Ah! Wow, that was close. I, I do kind of want that health, but I... There we go. Like, I don't know that I want it that bad. Drop me. Thank you. Okay. All right, so we got to jump onto that thing. Once it's back. Oh, come on. All right. Then we want to wait for green. There's green. I think we made it to the boss. Woo! There we go. Checkpoint. 
So now you, can, you guys can kind of see why <laughs> this game kind of takes a while uh, to get through. You can see like some of those uh, the other levels. One took I think 12. One took around 15 minutes for me to get through. This will probably be another 15 minute one here. This one might even be 20 minutes. I, I haven't been paying attention to the time, but man, challenging for sure. Oh no, I wasted my ability. But since we're at a checkpoint, what's great is we don't have to worry about our gear anymore. Uh, one of the other uh, differences I hadn't talked about just yet was actually how um, your abilities uh, don't actually have their own uh, ref refillable different bar. I guess that was the perfect uh, weapon to use against her right there. The bosses actually have been the easiest part of this game. The levels themselves have been really tough. Yeah, see, that was a 16-minute level right there, and I got an F. I got an F! My God! Um, but yeah, um, the uh, the bar that you're using for your abilities, it's not actually a separate bar from your life that like you have to you know grab stuff for. They actually do have pickups uh, for your weapon ability, but it recharges, which I think is another really good idea. Man, as the levels go on, though, I'm just getting worse. C was the first one I played. Uh, this, uh, or rather, the uh, shield was the first one I played. I got a C. Buster was the second one I played. Or fire was the second one I played. I couldn't get through it. Jeez, uh, dash was the second one I played. Through, couldn't get through it. Buster was the third one. E, and then warp is an F. Um, I don't know how many enemies and levels there are actually are in this game. I don't know if this is super short or what, but you can see at the beginning there's only four. I know normal Mega Man games have eight, you know? Uh, so I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, Alright, so this fire one is the last one that I can't get through or couldn't get through before. We'll see what we can do here. Let's see if I can actually get through it here. Man, it's just like crazy how, how Mega Man this game is. It's just insane. Alright, I have done this before. I do remember a lot of this. There's only one one blanket of lava area that I just can could not figure out how to get past. Um, but we did get a new ability, didn't we? What did we get? Oh, it's like a warp thing. That's probably what I need for this level. So it can warp me past that lava thing. Oh, okay. I'm cool with that. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, the, the bosses have been very interesting. I, I like the way they've been in, implemented in the game, but they are kind of like the easiest part of the, the game so far. The levels themselves are the, the real star here if you're looking for challenge. Um, and it would seem from that previous level that the shield weapon was the right weapon to use uh, against the boss because she went down quick, like super quick. I don't think any other boss I've played in this game has gone, gone by uh, that quickly. Alright, we gotta be really careful here, because... Any death here would take us all the way back to the beginning. I don't remember this level being as uh, forgiving with checkpoints. Right, we got our shield. We just gotta hit this guy as many times as we can. Ah! There we go. Oh, we're already down to health, half health here. Go flamethrower. A little bit of health. I'll take it. It's the other very helpful thing, I suppose, is that uh, these things here actually uh, will travel through the uh, the landscape to to get at the enemies. <laughs> Always a good thing. Here's a huge thing of health. There we go. That's helpful. This might actually be. Where the, yeah, so see this big lava thing up here? This earlier I could not get past. See, it does that. And I couldn't tell if it was like a timing thing or what. Okay, see, I was able to get through that, no problem. So I just had to wait. I see. They're not making this easy for you, though, I'll tell you that. All right, get the shield ready so we can take enemies out. Okay, we're in the middle again. We're looking good. I'm probably not going for that gear. I don't know. Go, 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 Dash! Wow, we made it. I don't know how, but we made it. Thanks for the health, dude. And it looks like we're dropping down. Wow, funny thing, I was like, how did I get through that lava wall? I could not figure it out. 
because I kept charging in and I'd be like, what do I gotta do? And it ended up you just had to wait. So dumb. There we go, next area. There's a checkpoint. I'll take it. Grab that. Oh, there's a gear. I don't have any way of getting to that, do I? Woo, that was a close one. Oh, he's back. All right, well, I'm, I'm moving on. <laughs> I can't deal with this. All right. All right, moving down again. We're making it happen here today, guys. Oh, this part's cool. This is very, very Mega Man. Would it be okay if we hang out? No, we will not. The answer is my question. Let's rebirth there. <laughs> Would it be okay here if we hang out? No, no. Let me answer that question for you immediately. We will be okay here, though. But not there. Drop. Go, go, go. Whew. Free gear. Oh, crap. Will that go away, or do I just have to eat it here? Can't go back. Wow, I don't think those things stop. Okay. Rebirth! Ah, crap. Go, go, go. Nope, 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 get up there! Ugh, I'm done does this weird thing where this one difference from Mega Man that I do not like is that in Mega Man, I remember being able to like jump up ladders. Maybe I'm misremembering. I don't know. Maybe that's other games. I'm not sure. But like the fact that when you hit the jump button, she drops, she doesn't actually get this. There you go. Ooh, that was not good. Luckily, I'm grabbing that that rebirth token every time. There we go. Up, 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 up. There we go. Make it across. There we go. Get a little reprieve there. Alright, we. Ooh. There's a gear. Grabbing that for sure. Wow, we at the boss already? Wow, I think we are. Wow, that was that way quicker than I was expecting. All right, let's see what happens here then. Whoa, wow, those flames take out my shield. What else do we have? We can throw some of those out. Let's see if that works. Oh, jeez. I may be dying this first round here. It's gonna be close, but I think I may be dying. I'm not exactly <laughs> doing a great job here. The mines are working. They are they are hitting her. But if they, they hit me, they also do damage. So it's gonna be close. Oh. oh, geez. Wow, I did it! Okay, wow. I really didn't think I was gonna get it right there, but there it was. Woo! Another C. So even if it, you spend six minutes, 22 seconds, you're not gonna get a great grade. You gotta like, I was right in there with par though. Did you see that? All right, we now have the newest boss. Oh, and, and it is adding a bunch of other bosses, but it looks like this is all, you know, quote unquote, the Dr. Wily stuff afterwards. So there's, it looks like there's about five normal robot masters and then the Wily stuff after that, Fortress Zone stuff. So I don't know, maybe this isn't a super, super duper long game, I guess. Um, but I will say though, it's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm gonna hold it right there guys because you saw two of the levels I think you get a good idea of what this game is all about uh, For what it is. I think it's quite awesome. Uh, I really wasn't expecting this uh, From this game whatsoever. I was expecting this to be kind of like a, a cheap knockoff and not very fun and not feel like the original game But it feels like the original game. It's fun um, It's got a good style to it. It's got nice artwork besides I've already kind of Beat to death the chibi girl design stuff. 
which I, I still am not a big fan of there. But um, besides that, though, the game itself is fun. Uh, I, I think it's a, a really, really uh, fun spinoff for Mega Man fans. So there you go, everybody. Uh, I'll see you all next time in the next episode of GGRC. See you then. GGRC.